Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that come in here who have issues regarding their knee. And they have arthritis of the knee, osteoarthritis, chondromalacia patella, patellofemoral pain syndrome, runner's knee, jumper's knee, uh, even meniscus issues, and even ligamentous sprains, you know, like the ACL and PCL, medial collateral ligament or the lateral collateral ligament, and they have pain and discomfort in their knee. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take care of this using either a wrench or a butter knife. So, join me, shall you? All right, so here we are. I've exposed my sexy leg here. And uh, let's say you have problems with your right knee. Let's say you have chronic pain in the right knee. What we're finding with these folks is that they got a lot of junkiness going on here in the vastus medialis muscle and in the vastus lateralis muscle, even in the rectus femoris uh, muscle right in through here and the vastus intermedius muscle, those quad muscles basically. So what you do is you get yourself some handy dandy coconut oil. We find coconut oil works pretty well with this. Um, definitely don't use any motor oil, you know, 530 or anything like that or 1040, you don't want to use any of that stuff. Um, if you are allergic, some folks are a little allergic to this stuff. Um, you want to use something that's not going to irritate your skin too much. So make sure you pick an oil. Olive oil works well, as well as vegetable oil. If you're going to use the good old butter knife, now this isn't, uh, you may want to make sure that you want to use, this knife is kind of nice because if you look here, it's nice and smooth. And it's got also kind of like a, a rounded uh, curved edge here on the handle. You definitely do not want to use the sharp edges uh, for this. We find that, you know, if you have this laying around, which I'm sure you do, you get yourself a handy dandy uh, hand towel and you place it over the sharp edges right here, just like this. And what you do is you apply liberally coconut oil or vegetable oil or olive oil in through here. And then you start hunting right here, just like this. You start hunting down those nasty junkiness. Now, normal muscle tissue is supposed to, you're supposed to be able to glide over normal muscle tissue. Now, if you find there are some kind of ropey areas or kind of some durable, or if you will, hard nodules in here like this, you can kind of oscillate back and forth across those guys to do this. And we usually recommend starting from distal to proximal. So start towards your, start down toward with your knee, uh, closest to your knee and work your way up. Because remember, you have one-way valves in your veins and you wanna make sure you're getting proper venous return toward the heart this way. So work distal to proximal. And as you work in through here, three to five minutes, you'll find that your skin will start to, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but your skin will start to turn a little red. And that's good because what you want is you want to start getting blood flow to these areas so that way it can promote healing, some circulation and promote healing to these areas. Again, normal blood, no, excuse me, normal muscle tissue should be soft and supple. And right here, there's a little bit of tightness for me as I'm going over that. So I can work in those areas a little bit. Now this Technique is not new. The Chinese use this, it's called Gua Sha. And they use stones or, um, you know, soft stones. They can even use soft wood. And they, they've been doing this in traditional Chinese medicine for a long time. You can look it up, I'm not making it up, called Gua Sha. You can, it's spelled G-U-A-S-H-A, I believe. So look that up. And this is going to promote healing into these areas that you have chronic pain in. Now, if you're going to use a wrench, you can do the same thing. So uh, with the wrench, is kind of nice because there's not any serrated areas on this to protect with using a hand towel. So you just kind of do the same thing. You want to make sure that it's pretty smooth, like this wrench is pretty smooth. There's no jagged edges on it. And you go in here and start hunting for those nasty areas 
And again, apply a liberal amount of lubrication in through here using your coconut oil or vegetable oil and hunt for and search for those nasty areas. Like right there, there's kind of a tight spot for me right there. So I can kind of oscillate back and forth on that spot a little bit. Again, work in here three to five minutes and you'll find right there. See, uh, there's a little bit of redness right here. I don't know if you can see that, but then there's a little bit of redness right here. Over time, you'll see a little bit of redness and that's okay. And you may even see a little bit of bruising and that's okay too. Again, do these to your tolerance. You don't want to sit here and dig, uh, digging in here and cranking away at this. You want to do this to relax the muscle, to break up any fibrotic adhesions that have developed over time as you know your injuries have healed. And you want to pick a surface when you're doing this. You want to pick a surface where your, your, your feet, your leg can dangle so you have lots of freedom of movement to get into these areas. So again, wrench or a butter knife. And then if you want to get in even more deeper, you can take the blunt end of the butter knife, this end right here, and you can kind of get in right here like this. You see? So you can kind of get in using that blunt end of the butter knife. See right there? See that? So I can kind of get in here even deeper into these areas right there. Again, using, make sure you use a lot of coconut oil in through there or olive oil or vegetable oil right there. Boom. See that? Also with the wrench, if you're going to use a wrench, yeah, use this rounded end. You can get in here like this and do the same thing and get in there a little deeper. Again, to your tolerance, and you want to create a little bit of that blood flow in and through there to promote healing. Soon, chronic pain in your knee, gone. If you have any questions with this video, drop it off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button because that will keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future. And that way you can continue to move well, live well. Also, I know you know folks who are suffering from knee pain, chronic or acute or chondromalacia patella or jumper's knee or even ligamentous sprains. Share this with them. Sharing is caring. That way they're armed with the knowledge to take care of themselves with simple household items like a butter knife and a wrench. So share this with them. Sharing is caring. Also, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. It lets us know you care. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.